Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody that supports the channel by viewing, by subscribing, by interacting, by uh, just uh, being there. I mean, a channel is not a channel without uh, people in front of screens to uh, watch and encourage. So uh, I'll try to keep on doing some interesting stuff for you people and uh, hope you will be uh, still watching and uh, interacting. So without any further delay, let's, uh, let's go to the uh, core of the subject. Lately, I've been doing a few uh, little things about uh, welding. Uh, I, I used to weld much more than I, uh, I weld now. I mean, I machine about 95% of the time now, weld once in a while. Uh, still love to see a big chunk of metal being melted and a big puddle and a powerful welder just digging in and working its way in the, uh, in the metal. Um, previous video, I was uh, comparing smaller, uh, you know, smaller currents to higher currents and see how it was making a difference into the penetration. I decided I would uh, maybe just for fun of it or try to um, some one eighth of an inch uh, 3.2 millimeters uh, welding rod 70 7018 and some uh, 6010 uh, welding rod. This is 5 uh, 30 seconds uh, size. I have some um, 5 30 seconds of the seven, uh, 7018, but I don't want to open the box just for the heck of it and uh, for taking a few a few rods and seal unseal the box. These rods are and, and, and not uh, the, the covering on those two is uh, very different than for diff very different purposes. So uh, the 7018 is very sensitive to humidity and if you want it well within specs, these have to be kept uh, in a warm environment without the humidity just uh, digging in and uh, changing the properties of it. So we're not being worried too much about this now because we're really going to overdrive those rods. We're going to go into a huge piece, uh, you know, big, big chunk of metal. We're going to be making passes in there and uh, fill it flat and see, uh, see how it does after we cut the part. Uh, do a few hedgings, uh, a few et you know, etch the, uh, the parts and see the results. We'll be able to compare this to uh, the previous uh, uh, what what the, the result we got in the previous video. So let's, uh, without any further delay, start seeing what we've been doing today and uh, using high power and over uh, overriding the, those uh, rods to uh, you know a certain uh, certain extent. Here we go. In order to drive the 6010, we'll drive it at 215 amps. Normally, the uh, would uh, I guess something like 165 amps would probably be uh, the top limit for those. Let's see what happens. Right here now, we got two two welding rods, like uh, 17018 and 16010. They're both, uh, uh, I think it's 14 inches long. The stem here on the 718 is one eighth of an inch, and this one is uh, 5 30 seconds of an inch. This is uh, 4 millimeter, and this is 3.2 millimeters uh, on the shankster. Notice that the Diameter of the uh, electrodes themselves are pretty similar once they're covered. Uh, the covering on the 7018 is much thicker than the covering on the 6010 or 6011. They're about the same. Let's go. Uh, let's go over drive uh, drive those rod. Not my idea. It's Brian's uh, Brian's block idea. Let's have fun. I'm trying to uh, hold this thing, and uh, this is really overdriving the rod. Let's uh, put down the hood and uh, let's start digging. I can, I can just plunge the rod in there and I feel it's digging. Not very sticky at all, that's nice. Almost there. Let's try the 7018 at the same uh, <laughs> at the same in intensity now. 7018 is a one inch, one eighth of an inch, sorry, and that should be driven maybe 160, 170. Let's see what it does. This is digging also pretty well. I 
I think <laughs> I think the rod is too hot. <laughs> the rod is just on fire. Oops. I'm getting a smoky garage. And naturally the uh, the bead is not exactly very according to specs. Surprisingly the uh, 60, 6010 is uh, peeling off pretty good. <laughs> Contrary to usual. Or I always have to fight with the... Uh, I'll show you a close-up of that finish. Here we go. Uh, I'm not gonna touch this. This is hot. Um, this is a 6010. Uh, 215 amps. 5 30 seconds of an inch which is uh, way over overheat and this is the 7018 uh, what uh, just a second it's 215 amps again this is also very uh, very much uh, overheated and can I catch this without burning myself yeah oh this is still hot though but the the rod just let me show you a 60 uh, 68 7018 so brand new rod after it went a little bit overheated okay this is a 7018 again just for fun turning 15 amps again not very much possible to have it stick it's really digging in though Normally flux on this would be um, peeling pretty well, just one uh, one piece almost or a few pieces. But uh, since it's a little bit over, it is a little bit a little bit harder to uh, to peel off. Not too much batter, surprisingly, for something way over its capacity, which should be I don't know something around 170 amps or or so. We'll go on the saw. Take a uh, take a cut, you know, on the s you know, sideways on this, and see how deep it went. In order to give you an idea of uh, how these beads can look, and they're really like overloaded, like for a current or whatever, overrated. This is one eight of an inch 70, 7018 rod. This one was a uh, five thirty seconds, but even there, the uh, width and the flatness of the beads are way out of uh, specs. I mean it's not what you can expect from a good weld or uh, welding on specs according to uh, what, what is uh, demanded from you in the, uh, in, the in the industry. This is more for a test so uh, don't, o don't overload your uh, rods like that because sometimes been uh, driven too hard they just uh, they're not good anymore. This is a 60 this is a 6010 530 seconds driven at 250 amps gets tired of you pretty quickly to kind of uh, follow up with the previous video where I was saying that uh, the more power you get in the more amps the more heat the more prone to go into the parent material you are gonna be this part here in the uh, narrower part is 700,000 18 millimeters thick the first try has been done with a 532nd 4 millimeter uh, rod the 6010 uh, the difference between 6010 and 6011 is 6010 is a positive only or DC only rod. The penetration, like you see there, went in 211 thousandths and 5.4 millimeters. I'm just running off the numbers a little bit, but uh, also I'm not counting the top there. I'm counting the uh, distance from 
the surface of the parent metal. I don't know if you can see. I think so. Yeah, you got faint, faint little scribe lines there, which is my uh, starting reference for uh, measuring. Second one there, and the third one, uh, made with one eighth of an inch, seventy eighteen rods, three point two millimeters. The current for the all the rods there is way over current for uh, those rods. It's two hundred fifteen amps. Also, uh, the penetration on these ones, which the 7018, which is 8 of an inch compared to 530 seconds, it went in pretty deep too. Um, the penetration was 5.4 millimeters, 210 ta uh, thousandths of an inch. Second bead, just a little bit over there, went in 5.1, 0.2, uh, 0.203 thousandths of an inch. There might be a little bit of difference there that due to speed, due to feed rate, due to uh, many, uh, just the arc length and a few a few factors like that. So, more heat, more penetration. That's a uh, definitive, uh, definitive answer. If you got a machine with lot of lots of power, you can expect to go much deeper into the uh, parent metal. Here, just a quick view of what it does when you override your sticks. Uh, way, 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 way too much overcurrent. This is a 6010, this is 6010, this is 7018. It just flames out. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're losing the rod, <laughs> the uh, ability to shield right, and they got all pretty well cracked up, and just the, uh, the flux on it just loses its purpose. So, <laughs> ride them with inspects because your uh, welds won't, won't be very good. This is an original one, brand new one.